So we might not be getting the Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning matchup on Sunday night, but what we will see is Tom Brady and the New England Patriots against the Denver Broncos' number one ranked defense. And honestly, that might be a more interesting storyline anyway. I want to see if the Broncos can replicate the type of pass rush that the Buffalo Bills produced on Monday night against Brady, and if Denver's deep defensive secondary with three quality safeties and three very good cornerbacks can handle Rob Gronkowski. The Seattle Seahawks have already lost two games at home this season to Carolina and Arizona, and they've got a tough matchup this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers, where their defense is going to have to try to handle that explosive Steelers offense now that Ben Roethlisberger is healthy. While the Seahawks might be able to slow down number one wide receiver Antonio Brown by shadowing him with Richard Sherman, I still think the Steelers are going to find ways to score. So my question is, will Russell Wilson and the rest of the offense be able to keep up? There are five AFC teams at five and five right now and in the middle of the wild card chase. And Sunday, we're going to see two of them play each other when the Bills visit the red hot Kansas City Chiefs, who won four straight games, all of them by double digits. But the Bills have a stout defensive front that might be able to slow down Kansas City's running game and bring enough pressure on Alex Smith to make the Chiefs one dimensional. But the Chiefs too have a surging defense, which could be trouble for Tyrod Taylor, who didn't come out of Monday's loss to New England completely healthy. The New York Giants emerged from their bye week alone atop the NFC East, and they have a chance to gain some breathing room in the division if they can beat Washington on Sunday. And right now, Washington sure looks vulnerable after a blowout loss last week to Carolina. Still, I wouldn't see, be surprised if this game winds up becoming a shootout, with Eli Manning leading a Giants team that's scoring more than 27 points per game this year, while New York's pass defense is ranked last in the NFL. I hope you're ready for a big helping of Greg Hardy with your Thanksgiving turkey, because we're certainly going to be hearing plenty about the embattled Cowboys defensive end when his current team, the Dallas Cowboys, hosts his old team, the Carolina Panthers. But if the Cowboys are going to win this game and hand the Panthers their first loss, it likely isn't going to be because of Hardy. It's going to be because of Tony Romo and if he can further spark the Dallas offense. Though that's going to be a big challenge against a Panthers defense that should have the bodies and the talent to match up with Des Bryant and Jason Witten. Mm -hmm.